Here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that that is man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the breaks heavy with the win. Referee Herb Great Dean fight. will handle the action Great. in the octagon. Good. Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, uh, but this venue will always have a special place for you. This venue holds a special place in my heart. Yeah. UFC yeah. 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get the chance. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Oh. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Just misses there with the left. Going to the sidekick. Nice. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Goes to the body there. Yes. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Strike landed pretty cleanly there. Just a slip there. Oh, he didn't like that one. Oh, beautiful counter. Very fast jab lands for Man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Nice straight punch. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Show call, you drop. 
Two minutes now to go in round one. Pretty fast, Jack. Great body kick there. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, that one landed, yep. That was great head movement. Oh, man. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice body shot. Just out of range with that kick attempt. One minute to go in round one. All right, champ, now we're starting to see some bruising on that thigh. Pretty good job attacking that area tonight. I mean, this guy is digging his shin into the thigh. What a tremendous performance by this guy. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. There's that kick. Nice level team with the body shot. Trying to hammer that lead leg. And they get to the clinch. Look for him to lift that onto the hook, drive him to the side of the octagon, and really control his opponent from the chest to chest. For the end of round one. Beautiful work. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Exactly just like that. Just like that last one. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep with that footwork. That footwork is just going to keep All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two here. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Nice oh. time kick to the body for the champion. Cable inches right there, everyone. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, that head kick was nasty. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Keeping him honest with the jab. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, sidekick. Well done. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Oh, good block there. Big call to right hand. Oh, he's got the hands going. He's sticking them over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Under three to go round two. Good fight.
All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and he's starting to show itself. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, big elbow. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Under two minutes to go. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Going to the knee strike now. Right under the elbow. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, nice. Nice. Gets to the single collar tie. Clean punch right there. <laughs> Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fight. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. And there's his jab. Beautiful high kick. Final seconds here of round two. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good. He didn't have that left hand. Big combination. Shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, has to try to find that shot again. That's a miss. It's amazing. One cat kick can do so much damage. Starting to show some signs of bruising there. It's already starting to limit him. Nice block. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, a nice 
slip, and then the counter finds its home. So he's really starting to put it all together on the feet, and as his coaches suggested, making good use of his reach advantage. Nice block. This old fighter starting to open up a little bit. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Connects with a beautiful jab. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. It's work. You need to work. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Nice counter shot there. Didn't take long. You see the signs of bruising on the outside of that lead leg. Oh, nice inside kick. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Oh, got to be careful taking too many of those That'll do it! TKO, folks, that is a clean knockout result. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that.